Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture we will discuss about multiple image. Okay, so I hope uh, you must aware of that that a single plane mirror makes a single image. Okay, let me draw it here again. Let's say this is a plane mirror and a ray of light is coming like this is the incident ray incident ray okay so this is a normal to a mirror this is our mirror so this is reflected ray so i should equal to r i should equal r this is law of reflection okay so now for any instance if i place a mirror here so student what you will notice that now this reflected ray will act as a incident incident ray for this mirror okay so now the image will be shown here okay so if there is the eye and here is the object okay so this angle i should equals to r so this is the final reflected ray too in this way you can make multiple images of an object like you can see here also but if you still made a mirror here then you can see the object here okay so this is the main reason uh, or this might you might have seen in a barber shop okay after you your hair cut is complete the barber holds a mirror behind you to show the how the hair has been cut on the back side okay so he holds a mirror and the mirror in front of you so there is a multiple reflection L let me show how he let's say the person this is a mirror and the person is sitting here so this is a person and this is barber standing here in back of him so after the haircut this barber holds a mirror here so this is also again a mirror so the person image will look into this and now this act as a okay angle of this is the incident ray now this is the reflected ray for this now this again back is a reflected okay so the person if if the person see here so he will be able to look at his back head so this is how this barber shop guy will able to barber shop guy able to show your hairs at back okay students so I hope now you guys are pretty clear that how multiple images are formed when by using more than one mirror okay so there is also one uh, device called as kaleidoscope uh, based on this multiple images so let me first erase all this so students the main funda behind making a kaleidoscope is of multiple images okay to make a kaleidoscope get three rectangular mirror strips so let me take three rectangular mirror strips so i place these rectangular mirror strips in such a way that they form a triangle so these are m1 m2 m3 these are three mirror strips okay join them together to form a prism 
okay fix them in a circular cardboard tube so take the circular cardboard tube and fix them in a circular cardboard tube okay make sure that the tube is slightly longer than the such that the mirrors are just in such a way these are the mirrors now fit into the circular cardboard okay close one end of the tube so what you will do further is close one end okay so the second end should be open and having a hole in the center there should be hole in the center okay students to make the disc durable paste a piece of transparent plastic sheet under the cardboard disc okay means to uh, make it for a longer duration you should fix it uh, using a plastic sheet okay at the other end touching the mirrors fix a circular plain glass plate so on this on the other end where the cardboard is not visible so what you should do is a plain circular plain glass means thrown which means transparent plain glass should be placed on the glass several small pieces of colored glass okay now your kaleidoscope is ready you will look into this and you will see that there are different different shapes you will find out okay variety of patterns in the tube an interesting feature of a kaleidoscope is that you will never see the same pattern again because the angle of you are seeing will always be somewhat different from the previous angle okay designers of wallpapers and fabrics artists use kaleidoscopes to get ideas for new patterns to make sure your toy attractive you can wrap the kaleidoscope in a gift wrap or something colored paper okay students so this is all about multiple images and kaleidoscope okay in our next lecture we will discuss about what is human eye and how human eye functions okay students so if you have any doubt or any question till now then please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning